Arthur Honegger is largely remembered as one of the members of the French aesthetic group of high-kicking young avant-garde composers of the 1920s known as Les Six. Along with Poulenc, Henri, Millot, several others. But Honegger was sort of odd man out in this lineup. He was uh, on good social terms with these people, but his aesthetics were very different. Honegger was not even French. He was actually Swiss. He was from Swiss, German-speaking, Protestant stock. But he went to Paris uh, for his studies and to begin developing his career. And he fell in love with Paris. And he spent almost all of his career there, although he never gave up his Swiss citizenship. It's interesting that he decided to stay in Paris even during the dark years of the occupation and World War II. Uh, it would have been much more convenient for Onegerg to go back to neutral Switzerland. But he chose not to do that, and he stayed in Paris, and that's where he wrote his Symphony No. 2, which we hear in this concert. There was a large repertoire of music written by composers during that time uh, that reflects the troubled spirit of the war, and the Symphony No. 2 of Onegerg is no exception. This is a piece for string orchestra, and in a lot of its writing we find nervous edge, we find undertones of fear or anxiety, always beautifully crafted because Onegger was that kind of a composer, and yet there is an edge to this music that's a little bit unsettling and disturbing. But it's also a very hopeful piece because in the last movement, Onegger writes his own version of a Bach chorale. It's not a quotation of an old Lutheran chorale, but it's a modern chorale that he himself has composed. And at that moment, Onegger has a stroke of genius when it comes to the orchestration. Instead of just using the string orchestra, as he has up until that time, he adds one further instrument, a solo trumpet. And the trumpet doubles the melody line of this chorale, and it just adds a little gleam, a little sheen, a little brightness, and in fact, a little hope to this hymn that's being sung out over the string orchestra. It's a real reminder of how in a time of war, when deprivation and economy is really uh, a, a must, it can take so little to make such a big difference. And Onegger really achieved that in the finale of this symphony.